Yesterday, Deshaun Watson was informed that the NFL is going to appeal. Now, either later today or tomorrow, you'll see a response to the NFL appealing by the NFL Players Association. The NFL had a couple of days after the verdict came down from Judge Robinson. It came down. The NFL got their act together, read the verdict, read the ruling, and responded saying, we are going to appeal. And as you all know, the NFL purportedly, I'm going to get to the as you all know in a second, the NFL purportedly wants a couple of things, at least a year with an indefinite suspension, a fine, and counseling. Here's why they want a year and indefinite. They want a year as a baseline. They want an indefinite in case case anything else comes about. Remember, once folks went on television, once the victims went on television, we saw more victims. Once we saw more victims, we saw some of those victims after a report came out in the New York Times detailing Watson's actions, we saw some of those victims go back at the Houston Texans for aiding and abetting. We then saw the Houston Texans say, whoa, 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 we don't need this action. So they settled with everybody that sued them for aiding and abetting whilst claiming innocence. Good for you. So what to do here? Let me ask you all a question. This is a tough spot. This is a tough spot for everyone. Watson first. Watson thought, okay, I'm going to get over on this. Yes, I was guilty. Yes, the report was damning. It did allege sexual assault. It did allege hurting the integrity of the league. It did allege attempt and, excuse me, intent to do harm to others. It did say that he went and got all these massages, not for therapeutic reasons, however, for sexual reasons. It did say, treating him like a child, that, hey, look, Watson, yo, yeah, you can't go get massages anywhere other than from Brown's personnel. Now, I got to tell you, if I'm the husband of Brown's personnel massage lady, I ain't too happy. If I'm the wife, apparently Watson doesn't really do male massages, but if I'm the wife of a massage dude, I ain't not involving my husband in that either. I don't want to go within a freaking country mile of Watson or Robert Kraft when it comes to massage. One, who needs the pressure? Two, you don't want to be in the same room with those guys. I don't use this word very much, but this is icky. It's icky. Who the hell wants to be in a room with those two? But here's the bigger deal, and this is something that I'm fascinated by. This is under a collective bargain agreement between the NFL PA and the NFL. You ready for this? You know this. Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the league, who already put it to an arbitrator. It already got to an arbitrator. Roger Goodell is the man, if he wants, to arbitrate the appeal. How dumb is the players union for ever agreeing to that? Maybe they never felt it would get to this point, but how couldn't you? I mean, read the paper every single day, some NFL players getting arrested. I mean, you can't swing a dead cat without some dude getting arrested for name it, drugs, gun. I saw the other day, one dude, Marquise Brown was going too fast in Arizona. Don't go too fast in Arizona. Not going to lie. Yesterday, I'm going 85 on cruise control to get home from Chicago after I missed a damn turn and it cost me an extra half hour to 45 minutes. I'm going 85. The gendarmes pick me up in Arizona. That's over 20, sometimes over 30 miles over the speed limit. My sorry, you know what is in jail. So it goes from that to name the crime. And the NFL players are involved in all of it. Okay. Does Roger Goodell decide, I'm going to be the guy that arbitrates this? You know what my think, well, you know what I think he does? I think he does. How can he not? What a horrible position everybody is in here. NFLPA looks stupid for allowing this. Goodell's going to look like an idiot because he already put it off to a judge. 
And now he just gets to arbitrate the judge's arbitration. Figure that one out, Spanky. Explain that one to me. I wish I had phone lines. 317-239-1070. That's my number at work. You want to call them, Jake and uh, Kevin are doing a show. Serious business. So he's going to sit there, listen to all this, and then I would assume if he was the arbitrator, he's going to do what has been reported. Maybe not to the extent, maybe not, I don't know, a big fine, but I got to believe that he's going to arbitrate this in favor of him. 